All right, well, I have good news and bad news today. I've got my little Mueller, Mueller here uh, running on a Hall Effect circuit. It's an electronic fired circuit. And uh, I changed the circuit uh, around a little bit from what was posted, but uh, basically the same thing. The Hall, uh, what the Hall does is it uh, works off the south pole of the permanent magnet going around and around, and it tells the... Uh, energy went to fire in relationship to top dead center on the drive coils right here. And that's the little hall. And you move that hall back and forth to adjust the timing just like on a car ignition. Um, it's very easy to do and very critical for your amp draw. But by doing this, I got the amp draw down on this uh, under 10 milliamps. And uh, last night I ran this for an hour on a super cap and it ran uh, quite nicely. So anyway, that little uh, hall circuit uh, works quite nicely. Uh, today I worked exclusively on these power coils, these generator coils. And I wanted to work with this ferrite core with the magnet biasing the, the coil. And one of my viewers um, made the comment that I could take a ferrite choke and use that inside the coil as the uh, ferrite core and it worked quite nicely. It worked real well actually. But uh, another thing, uh, once I got the amp draw way down, now I'm just running this on a lamp and uh, the lamp is supplying the energy so I don't have to recharge batteries or anything. And uh, this particular solar panel has adjustments on it from 3, 6, 9, and 12 and it's kind of like Romero's voltage uh, regulator that he used. It, I found that quite handy. And there's the voltage uh, that this is running on. It's running on uh, about two and a quarter volts. And I've got it running a jewel thief on some of the coils. Some of the generator coils are running this. But then this pair right here is what I'm going to show on this meter right here. And this one coil here, which has no core in it, is putting out 105 millivolts. If I add this one here into the scenario with the core and the magnet in the right orientation, this goes up to uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice voltage. But not nearly enough. <laughs> I don't have nearly enough. And uh, if this was revved up more, I could probably get about a volt out of this. I th I figure. But I got to be at that, or better. And that's where the problem is that I see with this design, is Romero had his dialed in to where his generator coils, each pair of them, and they're in series, put out at least or more voltage as the input source. And this is where I see the major problem is uh, you could wind more turns on the coil to get the voltage up and Fausto made a great uh, video showing that but you start losing your amperage and so it's a trade-off so uh, this is where the work the real heart of the Romero device is in this part I've decided whether you use the Litz wire or the cores or what kind of bridge rectifier you use and the diodes and all that until you get that problem solved where you can match with one pair of coils what your input voltage is, you're not going to get there. So this is where uh, I think the focus right now for me anyway is you need to be able to get a voltage of some kind with some sort of an amperage matching your input on one pair of coils because the way, you, the way that his device worked was he added up the coils in parallel to get the amperage to get to the wattage that would match the wattage coming in. And I tell you folks, that's a long, long ways for me to go. Um, this has been an interesting little learning tool, but uh, this part right here, that drive uh, our generator coil, is where I see the real problem is. Anyway, that's the uh, little report for today. Thanks for watching.